This is Gaza. Since the terrorist organization Hamas took power in the Strip, the conditions of a population of two million people have deteriorated intolerably. While their leaders divert much of the international aid to build tunnels, for attacks, and for rockets. But cornered, impoverished, losing power and influence, the terrorist organization has developed a new strategy to attract the spotlight on it. Now, she says, we will get our demands peacefully. Given the number of terrorist attacks it is responsible for, this rebound could make us smile. Unfortunately, Hamas knows that it can count on the indulgence of a number of media outlets, the United Nations, and a multitude of NGOs to help it spread its absurd, simple, yet widely accepted message. On the one hand, very bad Jews, on the other, poor, innocent Palestinians. So welcome to the Parade for the Return, the latest big show organized by Hamas. Every day between 10,000 and 30,000 Muslim Arabs will participate in this smokescreen operation. Buses with garlands pick up in the heart of the cities the participants to the fair which must take place along the border, near a buffer zone that Israel has announced to protect at all costs. This key is the symbol of a myth, the right of return within Israel of the descendants of Arab refugees of 1948. In other words, the destruction of Israel by invasion and demographic upheaval, as written in the Hamas Charter. Other families walk there. As always, there are children among them. It is on them that Hamas counts the most. With a little luck, a lost bullet will take them to the front page of the international media. Moreover, everything will be done for this bullet to be shot. A question then arises. What kind of parents would voluntarily expose their children to the dangers of a riot? What pressure and brainwashing did Hamas and other terrorist organizations have to exert on these unfortunate people taken hostage to accept to become human shields? What degree of hatred, above all, makes them prefer the oppression of a bloody terrorist organization to any form of normalization with their neighboring country? Of course, there is the internal propaganda machine, intended to create generations dedicated to the elimination of Israel. Cameras are in place. The next thing is to launch the media operation. First, prepare the ground. We noted his defense, Sanders, Senator Sanders, of the rights of people in Gaza and all over to protect the right for peaceful protest. It is their right to protest peacefully. The Arab message is a little different from the one for the international media. <laughs> وليبرمان جاء من روسيا لا يذهب إلى روسيا ونتنياهو جاء من أمريكا فليعود إلى أمريكا أما هذه الأرض التي رواها آباؤنا وأجدادنا بدمائهم ورويناها بدماء أولادنا سنرويها بدمائنا ونحن في مسيرتنا إلى التحرير 
الإنسان والأرض والعقيدة والمقدس القدس لا نعرف حاجة اسمها قدس شرقية ولا قدس غربية القدس عندنا قدس لا نعرف فلسطين 48 ولا حدود 67 67 فلسطين عندنا كل فلسطين أنا كلمتي بوجهها اليوم للشباب بقول لهم ما تخافوش ولعوا خوشوا قد ما تقدروا حتى العجائز إحنا لازم نولع الخش جوا ونولع الكوشوك عند اليهود نولع الكوشوك ونخليها تدحل عليهم تحرقهم حرق تحرق الصاينة الكلام الأنجاز الوسخين إسرائيل has warned no attempt to cross the security fence will be tolerated so you have to blind the enemy with mirrors and smoke the great march of return became the march of the tires Indifferent to the high health risk, activists and their accomplices will ignite thousands of tires along the border, causing a black and carcinogenic smoke, which will destroy the environment for tens of kilometers. Where are the ecologist protests? The goal of Hamas is twofold. Take advantage of the smoke to try to cross the border and commit a terrorist attack inside Israel. Failure to do so, it remains to provoke the soldiers in the hope of counting the dead who will make the front page of the Western newspapers. Of course, there will be wounded. That plays well on the screen. But are they always authentic? It is difficult to see any trace of a bullet on this man, but who knows? This journalist would have died of his injury in the ambulance that was carrying him. Nobody takes the trouble to remove his bulletproof vest before treating him. There is press written on it, and too bad if he has trouble breathing. The cameras are spinning. The show must go on. It will appear later that this journalist was above all a Hamas officer. 
Such are those innocent victims of Israeli fire, proudly claimed as martyrs by the terror organization. Burning flags allow you to let off steam and never hurt anyone, except when the flag drapes a donkey and the unfortunate animal is beaten before being burned alive. So while your usual media will show you the only images that Hamas has prepared with their help, especially for you, would something else be different behind the smoke screens? <laughs> 